I wanted to share a little bit of a personal story about a few of my products that I have created because they came from a place of healing, grief, uh, sorrow, but I created a few products um, after different miscarriages that I've had. And I've actually, I've had four miscarriages so far in my life, um, and it's just a heavy cross. It's a really heavy cross. Um, but what has come from the sorrow is several moments of consolation from God and from different saints who have inspired me to keep going, and Mary especially. And that's where a few of my designs came from that have a little bit more personal meaning to them. So I just wanted to share. Um, one of my designs about, it's um, Our Lady of Sorrows, her sorrowful heart. It's her heart pierced with seven swords. Um, and I designed that after I had a really traumatic miscarriage and I lost my son at 15 weeks and delivered him right into my hands. And it was basically the worst day of my life. Um, and I didn't, I didn't know um, if anyone would ever really understand what I just went through. Um, and then I saw the image of the Pieta, which I have also sketched, um, which is a very like healing sketch, but it's, a statue of Mary holding Jesus, who is dead, in her arms. Um, and when I saw that, I was like, actually, Mary knows how I feel. And she might be the only one who knows right now. Um, and it was really comforting to know that the mother of God is someone who knew how I felt in that moment and could be there for me. And had has such a deep sorrow um and so i just had a huge attachment um to that image and to mary's sorrowful heart and so i painted her sorrowful heart and i created it into a blanket pattern design because after i had that miscarriage i spent um almost a whole month just on the couch with a blanket because um, I was just so heartbroken and devastated and the only physical comfort that I had at that time was a blanket and so when your sorrow is that deep sometimes you just need something physical to to feel comfort from and it for me it was a blanket and so I put that design on a blanket um, to hopefully give other people that reminder that um, Mary, Mary knows and she can comfort us and be there for us. Um, and so that's where that design came from. And then I have a few other cards that I have now designed that have quotes on them that were really consoling to me during different, different miscarriages, different times, but one of them is a snowdrop poem, and the deacon at my son's funeral read that poem at um, at the funeral, and it it was so touching to me and really comforted me. So, um, and it's about snowdrops, and so snowdrops have a special place in my heart, um, especially because. Three out of four of my miscarriages have happened in the winter, and snowdrops bloom kind of at the very end of winter, right before spring comes. Here's how the little snowdrop poem goes. The world may never notice if a snowdrop doesn't bloom, or even pause to wonder if the petals fell too soon. But every life that ever forms or ever comes to be touches the world in some small way for all eternity. The little one we longed for was swiftly here and gone, 
but the love that was planted is a light that still shines on. And though our arms are empty, our hearts know what to do, for every beating of our heart says that we love you. And, um, and then another quote that has meant a lot to me is from Saint Zelie, and she is a saint, she's a mother though, and she has had several miscarriages as part of her story. And um, she's quoted saying, we shall find our little ones again up above. And so that was always very consoling to me. Um, and so I just wanted to share that wh where these designs came from. And my ultimate hope for them is that they can bring just a little bit of hope and consolation to others who might be carrying that heavy cross of child loss or miscarriage and um, bring a little bit of hope and comfort to our suffering. So that's the story behind these designs.